What's up? You already know who this is, and for those who don't know, it's Raphael Gordon, motivational speaker, CEO of Rockwell Motivations and Publishing. Always want to make sure I put that in there. But um, you know, I'm vibing today. It's uh, what's today? Today's Tuesday, and I'm pretty much vibing, and I'm, I'm laid up. Actually, I'm laid back. I'm, um, I'm preparing for this week. I'm doing a lot of stuff in New York, and um, you know, just kind of getting things in order for all the things that I got coming up for the month. But um, I was driving to my office today, uh, early this morning, and something hit me in reference to, I was put, I was listening to uh, Curtis Mayfield, which is probably playing in the background now, which we're going to actually put up, which is, you know, again, it's playing right now, but um, it kept sticking out, it was like, you know, the making of you, and I was just reflecting on my life in reference to, you know, again, I'm still in my 20s, so, you know, it's a beautiful, uh, it's beautiful in terms of how my life is blossoming. And I'm, I'm meeting so many amazing people, uh, tasting so much, so many different types of food, and wearing so many different types of uh, clothing. Uh, in terms of for those who have their ideas, in terms of their fashion, and I'm able to be a canvas to just pretty much wear their clothes in a certain way and form to enhance whatever it is that their vision or what they want people to wear. So I thought that was pretty cool as I'm, you know, again going through my, you know, doing my little drive um, to my office, but. Again, what stuck out was the aspect of just the making of you, and I thought about like a lot of, a lot of the conversations I had with people, whether it's relationships with, uh, with their friends, and, you know, whether in marriages or you know they're in like the, the, the dating scene or they just got friendships or just you know just bonds with people or just like you know the soulmates and, and that aspect. But um, these particular people that we meet in life are the makings of us. Um, the philosophies and the ideas and the thoughts that we actually confirm for ourselves is what, what makes us, you know, and I think that um, the reason why I'm able to be where I am today is because of the disciplines, the philosophies and thoughts and even the opinions that I consider truths from other individuals to embrace that into my life and be able to, and those were the hands that molded me into becoming who I am today, but, you know, again, like, um, the joy, I guess in the song it's about like the joy of, you know, kids laughing, laughing around you and, and the aspect of happiness is so vital for me because, you know, the extension of my, my spirit, the extension, the extension of my life, and my, my inner light um, is reflected upon the people that surround me and then also the kids that surround me because usually they always say like the younger the kids are, the closer they are to God, they also at the same time they look at you as the individual who will help mold them into becoming better individuals. And even if they're not um, as sharp, their sec, their sixth scent, like they're, I would say their God scent, like their, their um, feeling, their gut feeling of who to deal with and who not to deal with is so, is so strong. And they, I think kids listen to, and children listen to their gut more so often than adults do, you know, because I think as you get older, some of us, some of us, not everyone loses that, um, that imagination, that that child spirit, that um, that that particular emotion, and in, in the in the in the way you're supposed to be to to see purpose in your life and to be able to enjoy the one life that you do have. So you know this this clip here is just you know in reference to my reflection and saying that um, you know have you know have a time where you're able to to love someone. You know there's so many people in the world that loves you. That haven't met you yet. There are so many people that you're supposed to be connected to, and even I'm not saying that um, you know it's not right to to just deal with one person. I'm just saying that it is it is vital that you create bonds and relationships with as many people as you can in this one life, so that you can be able to exper experience and then also see the extension of your light and see how far it can go by letting other people travel with, you, with your light as well and also tell about who you are so that you can be able to understand the world more and be able to enjoy it more um, and again like you know so don't stress so much and um, you know always reflect so sit back like I'm doing right now reflect enjoy life and um, and know what is the making of you and what makes you and that makes you and that will help make you a better individual and a better you so again I'm Raphael going saying do what you do and um, you know keep molding yourself to be a better person maybe I'm in my 20s I'm still living I haven't I haven't even experienced an experience yet
But I want to make sure that people that I deal with experience me and say that there's no one like Raphael Gordon. Whether they see me for one time in their life or for many times, but each time that they see me, it's going to always be an experience. And that's how it should be with your life as well. So I wish you well. Great health and great wealth to you. Deuces.